Hi guys, it's Tony here from Concept Music. We're actually in the bass place. Um, I'm here with Paul Pooley, a very well-known, respected bass player in Perth. So Paul, why Yamaha? Great question, Tony. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I used to exclusively play Fender jazz bass, an old L series, probably for the first 30 years of, uh, 25 years I played and then a student, I was teaching a student came in and had a Yamaha bass mm -hmm. and I just kind of noticed how great it sounded and then uh, uh, kind of in a weird way I walked into this store but it was in Murray Street, Concert oh, yeah, Music yeah. in Murray yeah. Street and then there was the same bass was on the wall, the red one, yeah. which was a which BB model, yeah. 1500A, which I think is an active one. And that's kind of when I converted over to Yamaha. Great. Yeah. And was that a five string, four string? It was a four string. string. They four weren't string. really making many five strings then. Okay. So it was back in the day when it was mainly four strings, yeah. Fantastic. So that's kind of when I started and became interested in Yamaha basses. Yeah. Plus a lot of great players were playing Nathan East and kind of Leland Star. Yeah. And Patatucci. Yeah. Yep. All playing Yamaha Fantastic. basses. Yeah. How early on did you start playing fives? Five. Actually, I started, I didn't have a five, I had a six. And then I had a four string and I never had the five. And then when I was asked to do a, a show called Wicked, mm -hmm. which came through Perth, I think in about 2011, then I actually had to find a five. And that's when I started playing the five, kind of more exclusively. And I actually really like it. I, I really yeah. play four And which four now. model is that one that you're playing it's at the moment? BB, it's a new one they've just bought out, BB735A, yeah. active. Yeah. Yeah. PJ setup. Yeah, PJ, which yeah. I, I seem to gravitate towards. I really like that. And do you always use the active engaged um, or do you switch to passive mode at all? This one, yeah, occasionally I'll, switch, I'll, go, to, I'll go to passive, depending on, mainly for the, the kind of the straight P sound. I usually just go straight for the P pickup and then wind off the, because uh, there's no active now, and then just wind off the tops and... <laughs> Yeah. And you use in flats? Flat wound strings. These yeah. are chromes, Diderio chromes, which I really like. It's a nice and warm. And I can see you've got um, like a different low B, not, not a flat wound. Oh yeah, I got the round wound yeah. on why there. Do you, why do you do that? It's a lot clearer. Yeah. yeah. More For definition? You, yeah. You're not, I mean, you're not using the fifth string that much. Uh, but when you use it, you just kind of need the clarity to cut through. So I, I usually just have a round wound on with the flats. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And with the, um, like a lot of the musicals that you play in, a lot of shows that you do, do you find that having the active system and the EQ on board allows you to shape your sound a yeah. bit easier and quicker? I definitely, I mean, I have a, prior to this one that I've just bought, I have a, a BB2025X, which mm -hmm. is passive. I think there's one similar to that. It's just yeah. passive. But with the shows, you need some EQ shaping just uh, because you don't have an app. So you're basically relying on your on your headphones for your mix. So I have a little Aguilar outboard. Mm -hmm. But this is why this is really convenient. Just having the onboard is really handy. Great. Yeah. And also the fact that it has a, a, a actually a very good uh, passive sound, just in case mm. something happens with the battery. A little yeah, bit. as well as active, you've got the yeah. choice. Yeah. And the other thing is, I mean, once I'm kind of set and I've got my sound, I don't mess around too much with the tone controls because yeah. I don't want to affect too much yeah. what's going well, on. Well, you're obviously there. concentrating yeah. on, on the music and, and the yeah. score, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once it's set, let's say if I'm usually my setup, I leave everything pretty much flat, maybe the top's all flat, and then I add some bass, and then mainly two pickups, and then I'm here, and then any tonal variations. Yeah, of if I want something mellow, so there's really a lot of the tone of variations are coming from your hands and your touch. And positioning. Yeah. yeah. And that really back bitey back pickup. Does the Yamaha deliver that? It does, but I tend not know? to use that. Too no, much. not in the yeah. orchestra. Actually, I can't remember the last time I did that. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, very very rarely because I'm kind of more trying to give a full warm yeah, bottom sound, yeah, yeah. Great.